Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Peps, and we're back with a long overdue painting Necrons video. I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I'm making a purple Necron. I am using, for the most part, army speed paints like I always do. I'm keeping it to three colours only, uh, and then there'll be some tiny bonus colours along the way. But ultimately, primed it black heavy dry brush of Stormhost Silver over the top and then as you can see I am slapping down this Hive Dweller purple all over the model. Now I was not sure if this was going to work or not but I'm holding the finished model in my hand as I do this voiceover and I am very happy with the final results. Ultimately it's three main colours as you will see throughout this video. And then I used uh, some metallics just to pick out certain regions of the model. But realistically, it is purely just speed paints over a metallic base. And the results, I think, work really well. I'm very happy with what I achieved in a very short amount of time. I've not really known what I was doing. And with dry time, this model took 10 minutes. Which, if you think you're doing a squad of 10, you'd get through these real quick. The whole squad would probably take 30 minutes tops, I would reckon, with drying. It's a real joy to use these speed paints. And now that I'm experimenting more and more with a metallic undercoat, I'm actually loving the results. And at the end of this video, I'll come out and say this was a very dark purple by the end of it. It looks cool on this one model. Would I do a full squad of this? Probably not. But does it make me want to try a different colour? It sure does. I want to see what the alchemy pink or alchemy purple looks like next. I, I want purple Necrons. I think that's what the problem is here. I want a purple Necron. And though this is purple, it's just too dark for me. I could obviously highlight it, but... We're not doing that. It's tabletop ready. It's quick and dirty. That's what this channel is all about. Quick and dirty painting. But he's going to look good in the display cabinet next to the other Necrons. And that's ultimately one less grey plastic model on the shelf for me. Right, the purple has pretty much dried now. Probably a little bit wet in the darker recesses. But we're going to move on to the gun now. And for that we're using the Orc skin. That's right, this guy is going to have a nice green <laughs> flare gun. Right, nice and simple. I'm just going to slap it all down. My goal is to hopefully be able to let this dry long enough and not get impatient that I can uh, put some white over the energy coils and the little energy globes on the gun, put some in the ribs, put some on the eye lenses. And in those sections, I'll be dropping yellow. But we'll see how this uh, all dries up. My impatience gets the better of me, as it always does. And I'm going to start doing the white areas of this model. It's probably going to take a couple of coats, so getting the first layer down isn't going to hurt anything. As you can see, I picked out the eye lenses. I'm now working on the little globes on the gun. I'm going to work the coils on the main body of the weapon. There's a little bit of wiring that I also want to pick out in a different color. And then of course I want to try and get into the rib cage. Now this, like I said, takes me a few coats, so let's jump forward a little bit. Right, it took, took two coats, which isn't the end of the world. It gave me time to think about what I wanted to do next. And to be honest, I actually forgot an entire stage that I did. I was looking at the cabling, as you can see, I'm sticking white on it currently because I know I'm going to put some yellow down. But I thought it needed sank extra on it. So I decided to grab the Absolution Green. And I'm going to use that as kind of a shading on it. I'm going to put this over the blade that is at one end. And then over the cabling and the, the drooping down wire on the gun. It's a nice quick step. I'm not going overboard with it. I just wanted to add a little bit more depth to those areas. It's looking a bit flat, 
the green flesh looks great. The orc skin, sorry, looks great. But yeah, it's looking a little flat for my liking. So this absolution green is just going to add some shade. Add some depth, give it a little bit more interest, but not take away from the green gun that I want to have. And then sat back, let it dry, and grab the zealot yellow. This is pretty much the last step. <laughs> there is one more stage, which I'll discuss after this, but this is the main last color going on now. And anything that I've painted white is now getting a coat of this. It looks great, in my opinion. It's a really cool color scheme. I think if you had an army of these, it would definitely stand out on the table. But it's the wrong purple. I think I was imagining uh, alchemy purple when I was planning this scheme in my head. And then once again, I did the classic mistake of grabbing the hive dweller purple, which is much more darker. It has its place, really good on gene stealers. But for me, it wasn't the purple that I was imagining in my head. So I'm going to have to try this scheme out again. But I've got a few other schemes I want to try out. There's one that has been niggling me for a while to do. And it's the old uh, Space Crusade Chaos Androids. They're kind of this white creamy color. I think that would work really well on a Necron. So I want to try that out. So that's probably going to be the next Necron you see on this channel. But yeah, I'm not sure what I'm painting next week when it comes to 40k. I've got loads of Space Marines. I've got some Sisters of Battle as well, though. Also have tons of Necrons, so I've got plenty of choice. I just need to pick something and get on with it. Right, I'm pretty much finishing up the last few sections of this yellow. All that I'm going to do after this is clean up the base and using... Uh, I think it's the Canoptic Armor Shade. I'm just going to pick out some of the battle damage that's on his body as if the purple plating has come off. And while I'm doing that, you can look at some glamour shots. I hope you enjoyed this quick and dirty video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It really means a lot to me when you uh, comment below or hit the like button. But until next time, cheers for watching.